Welcome back to the Mike Leaf Show here on the Warrior Sports Network. I'm now joined by what I want to say guard Conrad Mosberg. And Conrad coming straight from practice to come be with us today. Thanks very much. Yep, my pleasure. Let's uh, let's talk briefly about this last weekend. Uh, a couple games at uh, Southwest Minnesota State and at Sioux Falls. Um, games that you dropped, but um, I think that they demonstrate just how hard it is to win in the Northern Sun. There are so many good teams in this conference. You can't take anybody for granted. What's the biggest thing that you guys take from this weekend that you can apply going forward? Um, just that we got to stay together as a team, I guess. I mean, we lost two games and we can't dwell on losing two games in a weekend. We have to come out this weekend and play as a team, rebound, score baskets, and hopefully come out with two wins instead of two losses. You've moved into the starting lineup the last couple of weeks with Mark Blacklock being out. How does that change um, what you're trying to do, and, and, and does it change the way that you approach the game? Um, I want to say it's the way I approach the game. I mean, I still come in and do my thing, hustle, get rebounds. I mean, take the open shot, but it's definitely it's a different feeling being in there right away instead of coming in off the bench. There's, you're going against their starting fiving instead of their mm -hmm. second string. You've, you've really worked your way uh, into a role where you're getting a lot of open looks on the perimeter and knocking those shots down. Um, how, how have you been able to gain that confidence coming into this year to where now when you get the ball and, and you're open in some space, you really got the green light to give it a go? Uh, just a lot of practice. I mean, coming in this year, coach told me I have to shoot more. And it, just work on that in practice every day. I mean, after you do it every day in practice, it comes a little bit easier in the game. We look forward now to games this weekend against Minnesota State, uh, a ranked team, and then Concordia St. Paul. Uh, they're two teams you've beaten already. Um, Minnesota State, obviously a, a good team, but it's a team that you had some success against earlier this year, knocking down a couple shots. I think scored 11 points. Um, How do you feel in that game, and do you feel like that's something that, you, that can carry over that success that you had against them? Uh, sure, hope it can carry over. I mean, it was that's where I'm from, Mankato. So there's a little extra fight to beat them, I guess, which is always nice to be Mankato, but. I mean, they're a tough opponent. We have to play really well as a team together, rebound. They're one of the teams that crash the offensive glass really hard. And then Concordia is a team that has a lot of one-on-one -on -one players, individual players that are really good, and we have to be able to stop them and, again, rebound on the defensive end. These are two teams uh, that you're very familiar with, uh, but especially Minnesota State, a uh, team that we saw in the regionals last year and have really become familiar with. Does that help at all, going to these games, having that much background information on a team to draw on? Um, it helps. I mean, every team throws other stuff in before the game, but we've seen each other and you pretty much know what everyone's going to do, what every player has a tendency to do, and you just go out there and try to stop and have fun. It's going to be a couple great games this weekend, Connor. We, w we wish you the best of luck as the Warriors play Minnesota State on Friday and then Concordia St. Paul on Saturday. We'll be back later in the week with more from Coach Leaf.